So let me zoom in here and so you can see this this guy coming out of here. We haven't really changed all that much in frequency of drops, but the drops, as you see, are getting bigger. And so we're down here now to seven minutes. We're just a tish over that five milliliter line. So it's going to come out about right, like I say, a little bit over. I'll come back at uh, 10 milliliters, though. Why don't we do that? I'll just wait and come back at 10. We'll see what the time was and what the current is. Then I'll show you some data on the schematic. Just wanted to come back for a second to show you uh, there is going to be a slight difference between the data I give you from the last run and this run because you can see all of the water that's running out of here. I've got a significant pressure loss and as a result that water is actually coming out onto the uh, stand down here instead of in the beaker. So it'll be a little bit longer uh, for the 10 milliliters, but my margin of error is so great I'm not too worried about it. We're still running uh, 60 mils. We're up now to uh, about six and a half milliliters of water, nine minutes. So you see it's going to uh, going to be a little longer. But like I say, the margin of error is great enough that that's not going to uh, skew how comparisons come out on this. Those of you that don't uh, don't work in the field or are going to someday attempt to build this stuff, now this is just built out of PVC piping. This is clear PVC, PVC caps. This clear stuff's really expensive. Uh, uh, this cap is something like six dollars now. This stuff's fairly inexpensive, a dollar twenty-nine or something like that. These these containers here, uh, I buy those at the dollar store. They have a rubber seal on them, and uh, after you've used them a couple of times, of course, we run into this this business of the leakage. You got to really get them tight, and of course, just put holes in them. This is a rubber lab cork, a test tube cork, for the blowout protection. These uh, come from an air supply. Uh, they're bulkheads. On both sides of them, they have the the uh, plastic tubing nipple, and they're very nice. You put them in there and seal them with an epoxy, and they work quite well for doing this. Now, this up here, instead of putting a, a bulkhead in there, what this is is the protector tip off of a, a five milliliter syringe drilled a hole in it, pushed it in, and epoxied it. Actually, I'm sorry, I didn't epoxy this one. I used uh, PVC glue on it. All of this stuff here is PVC glued. This is just a pressure fit again, like I said, to protect it in case uh, we blew. So 11 minutes, uh, 31 seconds, 34 seconds. Now we've dropped to our 58, which I told you. And... Uh, Gosh, we're running about, uh, let me hold this while I measure it, five, six, seven milliliters. And we can zoom in here and see what we're doing. So, okay. So anyway, I'll come back, like I said, at 10 milliliters. I just thought, while I'm sitting here watching this thing, I'd go ahead and explain to you how some of the construction on this. It's fairly simple to put it together. You've got to be very sure, though, that you don't have a lot of excess air spaces, and you have to have tight joints if you're going to build up a pressure in there. And it does take a bit of pressure to do this. Now, this is the dangerous, most dangerous part of the whole system, in that as I move the water out, I'm building a head of mixed gas right here. So there's the guy you've got to really be careful of. Uh, there's other ways of doing this, although I do not like storing gas, period. But I'm doing small runs here, uh, so I feel that I'm adequately protected. Sometimes what I'll do is I'll take one of these uh, plastic jugs. What these are, these pretzels came in these things, but they're very neat. I'll take and set my containment vessel down inside of one of these empty plastic jugs. So if it blew and split and, and threw plastic or something, 
this in here would contain it and the wide opening at the top would allow the the escape of the pressure so anyway uh, be extremely careful I've I've lived through and, and not lost any limbs or anything yet a number of explosions and I do not recommend it's something you want to try it's very scary and it's very very dangerous so let's take a look at this and our production is still about normal we're getting up there close to that uh, we're about eight right now we're 13 so yes we're going to be a little a little longer but 